Very good morning to you. Welcome to the video edition of the show. Promises to be very exciting. I'm Yemi Adebayo. And I'm Cecilia Omogbe. Good morning. All right. Let's start you off with the news making the rounds in this part of the world. Let's start with the drama that has been on for a while and it appears that it's not going to end anytime soon. Let's talk about the NNL Super 8 drama. It's ongoing from what we gather of the eight teams that are supposed to participate in the tournament. About three, about just three teams are there in a bar. And the question is, will we get to see uh, the Super 8 at all? And hanging on that, hanging on that is whether the number of teams that will be promoted into the top flight in the Nigeria Professional Football League. So we'll see how far we can go with that one. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see how far we will go in that the drama continues in Nigeria Professional Football League and also Nigeria National uh, League. Also on the program, Ole Gunnar Sosha, the man was Manchester United confirmed this man on the website as the new manager. He's a former player. I would say if the official confirmation is going to happen today, but he's expected to be appointed as interim manager today. All right, the man we call the super sub, the baby face assassin. So we'll see whether Ole Gunnar uh, will uh, be put uh, in charge. We'll see what happens uh, with that one. Some of us still have memories. All right, let's talk about this man. Let's talk about this man. Okay, now, uh, what? Well, Messi, again, I mean, that's the big boy. Fifth golden shoe for Messi. Everyone has been talking about him simply because of the reason why he didn't win, you know, the Ballon d'Or award. And of course, the other one, he finished that outside top five, which is not something that we all expected. But somehow, he still blazed the train. Remember, he got the highest numbers of goals in all of Europe last season and that's why he's getting this kind of award so you say it's a huge one for Messi and of course for Barcelona because he's collecting the fifth one I mean Europe top scorer you can't really bet against it because they are just fine netted 34 goals in La Liga last season and it's the second time Ronnie he has earned that golden shoe so moving ahead of all-time rival talking about Cristiano Ronaldo so that's a good one, Yemi. Very, very good one. Uh, but that's not where we're starting the show uh, this morning. We're, we're going to talk much about um, uh, Lionel Messi, Holy Gunnar Solskjaer. We're going to talk about them uh, later. But we have to start from home. I'll talk about where the drama is. Talk about the NNL Super 8. Uh, first, we we're going to promote um, four teams. Then uh, it was turned to eight. eight. Then the drama ensued. Um, uh, the, the LMC put their foot down. That's the league management company. You, you're not going to get eight. Then the issue was, uh, then the issue was, uh, uh, if you're not demoting your teams, uh, we too cannot promote four teams. Uh, but let's get a, a, a you know a thorough perspective uh, on this matter. We're now being joined uh, on the show uh, by the chairman of uh, the Nigeria National League, uh, Chidiya for Okenwa. He joins us now. Uh, if you can hear me, uh, good morning. It's nice to have you uh, join us uh, on the show this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. All right. Um, let me just ask you uh, this uh, straight away. Um, what happens if, uh, if the NLL Super 8 fails to hold? W what happens? Uh, because from what we gather and from what appears to be happening, uh, in Aba, uh, it looks like all the teams are not there now. But what happens uh, if it doesn't hold? Uh, I wouldn't want to know uh, to, to get into what you gathered because I don't know the source of your gathering. But uh, I can tell you what is on ground here in Aba. Uh, I can tell you that the NNL is ready, ever ready to project the Super 8. Uh, the time frame given by the Nigerian Football Federation, the owners of the league, because the NNL is being held in franchise for the Nigerian Football Federation by the NNL board. Uh, I can tell you that the time has not elapsed, and we are looking forward to the, uh, the time elapsing before we make a comment on whether the, uh, the Super 8 is going on or not. Okay, I, I like your optimism. So, uh, based on that optimism, if it's going to hold, ca can you uh, tell us when you think uh, everything will start? Uh, by the... Submission of uh, the Emergency Committee of the Nigerian Football Federation. Uh, the tournament is supposed to start by tomorrow, Thursday, 28th of uh, December. And we're looking forward to that very date. Uh, God willing, all of us will be alive in the land of the living. And 
uh, whatever happened that day, you will be properly guided and posted. Okay, now let's talk about the teams that are practically on ground now. Most of the clubs are actually saying that they did not get the understanding that they should come over and the NNL is, the NNL is starting. How many teams do we uh, have on ground? And we're making I'm not actually you. I'm not hearing you. Now, oh, let's talk about the numbers of clubs on ground right now that are ready for this. Because we learned that some clubs says they've not gotten the information that they're going to start uh, the NNL, NNL. How many clubs do we have on ground? And as message actually be sent to all the clubs involved in the Super 8? I can tell you that it's only people that have reported that we can tell you about. Uh, we can tell you about uh, the, the, the teams that reported to us and some, some of us are saying they're on their way. And we cannot uh, start getting into certain issues until the last minute of the time frame given by the Nigerian Football Federation is exhausted by, 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 by Mitchell. Okay, so all the teams, they have this information that the NNL is starting. Is that what you're telling us this morning? Pardon? All the teams that are supposed to participate, they have the information they're supposed to be in Abad today, right? To the best of my knowledge, we have explored our medium of communication, okay. uh, official medium of communication to clubs. So anybody saying that he does not have any information is being ignorant with the truth. Uh, everybody has my phone number, and of course the phone number of the CEO, the COO, the vice chairman, the operating officer, and of course our official uh, medium of communication, both both soft copy system and, uh, of course, the hard copy system has gotten to everybody. Okay. Right. Can we know the numbers of teams on ground right now? Can we know that again? Uh, on ground, this morning, I saw I saw um, Bobby United training. Uh, yesterday evening, I saw Delta Force training as well. And uh, as well, I saw the the team manager of uh, Restart. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I, I put it to you that some of the teams are already saying they won't come, but that's a matter for another day. We'll talk about that one. But uh, you how, cannot put it how to did we? Like the local stand you said? You cannot put it to me because we like the local stand to so do. Uh, okay. All right. L let's move on. I, I just we're just trying to clear the air. It's it's not an interrogation, but let, let me just let that be clear, sir. So I, I'm just saying, how did we get here? You have, at the end of um, proceedings, some teams going to town saying that they have already qualified. Then later, the position was clarified. Uh, was, was there any reason for, for that in the, uh, in the first place? Was there a communication gap, you know, j just to set the record straight? I, I want to first and foremost to climb down from the matter of playing the devil's advocate of saying if this happens and the other does not happen. Okay. Football is a game of rules. Right. And all of us in this business understand the chemistry and physics of these rules. Every good minister in the temple is well guided by the big framework and rules. And if anybody defaults on it, of course, the rule takes its course. And the Nigeria Football Federation, in its good wisdom, have given us a direction. And that is where the NNL is right now. Uh, we should as well understand that uh, in ventilating uh, their opinion, the clause as well as corporate entities. Uh, you know, the, the correct thing to do, and of course, I can tell you that the rules of the league is in very primary language. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so what happens when maybe the teams, they refuse to turn up? We just have three. Is the games, will it go ahead or maybe just the ones that are ready are the ones that will gain promotion into MPFL? Uh, like I said earlier, the Nigerian Football Federation will sort out all these things by the grace of God. If you, if you look at the procedure in, in promotion and demotion system, it's subject to ratification by the Nigerian Football Federation. Absolutely. So the award is final. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me just also say this. Uh, have, you, have any of the clubs uh, voiced their grievances or anything? Uh, uh, as far as you know, uh, uh, have any of those clubs that are supposed to be in the Super 8 voiced any grievances that you know of? What I can tell you is that as, the, as at the last day of the league of, 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 the, of the league season, uh, everything went down very well. We, the same problem we had was the inability of the Senate Committee of Nigerian Football Federation to sit as a point view. But immediately they did justice to the matters before them. 
of which the summary jurisdiction given by the Ben Nigerian NL was upheld by the disciplinary committee. The, the last match of Group A1 was played. And since that time, uh, I have not been very much in contact with these clubs to know if there are grievances. However, I know that in touch with uh, the, the Nigerian Football Federation, if there is anything to say, if there is any anger to pour out, I, I think I, I am not in the picture right now because nobody has, done, uh, has communicated me in that vein. All right, uh, Mr. Chidi of Okenwa, the chairman of the NNL, we want to thank you for your time on the show. We thank you for clearing the air on some of these uh, naughty issues, and hopefully um, everything will be sorted. And, uh, of course, we'll get the Super 8 and get the teams uh, that will progress to the Nigerian Professional Football League. So thank you once again.